Alright, I'm gonna sit down for this one because it's so hot actually, I shouldn't even be out here. But anyway, you can see over by the... And by the way, there's that loud rumbling again. And now that it's clear out here, you still can't see where it's coming from. But you, I know the sound, it's the only thing that it can be is jets, fighter jets. Because they could be long gone and you still hear that It's so loud, I, my phone's just not picking it up. So I came outside because I have to see what's going on. But anyway, so we have a couple more. They're doing one right there. And there's another one coming up off the tree. I guess that one was going to try to get up to the simulator, but just didn't make it. That's the weird thing I want to show you. They're all half done. They're not really forming into what they should, you know, into that big mass. It seems to be dying out. I don't know why. That one didn't even make it all the way to, to the sun. You know, that's where it was headed. It just died out. I don't even see the plane that was doing it. And other than that, it's like, it's flawless out. There's like nothing going on. It is absolutely perfect. You can see this plane perfectly. This jet, I mean. I mean, even, look at Alien. He does not do this. He does not sit outside for any other reason. He's not really a dog, I'm not sure what he is. So when he's out here chilling like this, it's very safe. Usually he does not do that. He'll want to come right back in after he does his biz. But he just wants to chill. You hanging, Nick? Good day today? He's loving it. But I'm watching these two. These two lines. Because I'm still hearing that low rumbling, very... It's hap It's like, it's again, like the last three days. It's like, sorry. <laughs> Choking on a piece of granola bar. <laughs> um, what was I thinking about? Oh, yeah. Just like the last few days, it'll go away. But then it comes back in like about 20 minutes. And then you'll hear the low rumbling for a good five, ten minutes. And then it goes away and comes back. But it's interesting. But these lines, let me see if I can see behind, around that tree. They never really materialized. Neither did the one by this tree. Remember, well, I didn't post that video because it was wrong. There's that other one. I saw this one actually being made. And I don't know what happened to the plane. See how it just stops? That one didn't go anywhere or materialize either. And then we got these two, where he just went, look at the trail on this one. Let me see if I can get it. It goes here and then makes a quick, it quick, it goes quickly up like it was headed for the sun, but just stopped, just died out. I've never seen that before. I mean, usually it's spread out. How far back does that go? I see it stops right there at that tree back there. So it's not really taking, it just kind of stops. Never quite made it to the sun. And I'm telling you, the sun is fierce today. I can feel it on my face, it's been a long time. Simulator or not, I'm gonna try to block that because I'm telling you, that's healing, that's energy. If you get, you know, that's why people who live in really cold states like you guys you guys can attest to this people who live where it's you know north snow you get that six months of doom and gloom and you never see the sun a lot of those people are depressed sorry and uh yeah there's like a high rate of uh, depression because you're stuck inside there's no sunlight people get sick it's because the sun, that's why they're blocking it, I'm pretty sure. And plus everything needs to grow, we need the sun. I don't like that at all. People getting energy off the sun. 
I've never felt better in my life. I used to tan all the time. It wasn't really just to get tan. I just never felt as great as I did when I was out in the sun. And all these kids these days, and my son included, they hate the sun. They hate it. If they have to be in it more than a few minutes, oh, it's so hot. So I think there's mind control going on. The sun is dangerous. I don't think the sun simulator, whatever you want to call it, is dangerous. I think that's just another fib. Anybody's putting on sunscreen needs their head examined. Just like back when my son was younger and everybody's lathering up their kids with this man-made sunscreen. You know what that really is. Cancer-induced ingredient so it could boil right into your skin. These people will do anything. Anything. I don't put past anything. I will never put on sunscreen. Never, ever, ever, ever. I never thought, I'm like, your body's designed to deal with that. You get a sunburn, you stay out too long, and you peel and it's over. We weren't meant to lather up man-made products. Alright, that's it for now.